Are we live? I think we are. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. I am the Best Ball Guy, and today we're going to be uh, doing our big board drafts. Um, big board is a draft that happens pre NFL draft, so we don't have any rookie landing spots. And we are going for this two hundred thousand dollar top prize. We finished um, top fifty last year in the big board. Um, so that was a nice little payday, but uh, this year we, we want to hit the top uh, the top number there. Um, and yeah, basically, if you don't know what best ball is, it is a combination of skill positions that the computer automatically sets into a fantasy football lineup for you. So we have these are the requirements to meet for each week: is one quarterback, two running back, three wide receiver, one tight end, one flex, and you get a total of twenty picks to do that. Seeing that it is uh, the end of February here, and we're already drafting, and you found this video, um, either you are down some dark rabbit hole, or you already know what the fuck is going on. So, um, let's get this going without any further ado. Once again, $200,000 draft coming. Um, $10 buy-in, so not... A lot of uh, risk for a lot of upside, so we got to make sure that we take the right players here, just so you guys can gauge what we've done so far. We've maxed the little board, and we have half of the big board done. So I am hoping to stream the rest. Buying, so sorry, let me pause that. Um, I am hoping to stream the rest of these drafts. That would be ideal. So. Um, if you are new and you see this video, please just like, subscribe. I'm going to be streaming every day until we max this. Um, I'll try to get on a consistent schedule as best I can, but um, like I wasn't planning on doing this now, but I found an hour and a half of free time, so I want to do a draft, so I'm going to just do a draft. So I logged on to stream it. So that's how this is going to work later in the day. I hope to do four to five drafts all back to back and get some people coming in here that want to draft with me and stuff like that. But um, let's do this. Let's uh, let's get let's get into our first draft of the day here. Um, number seventy six. We're on the back half of the season. There's some things that I have been thinking through. Um, we got eleven people waiting, so it might be a little bit of a wait here. Um, yeah. Let's, let's do this. Line, let's take the volume down. And yeah, this will be good stuff here. Um, a couple uh, a couple of things I've just been thinking through lately that I want to that I want to focus on is what do I want to focus on? I want to focus on trying to guess rookie landing spots because if you just get it right stacked with the quarterback you think they're going to it's just such an advantage. So I want to start just boldly guessing on something like that. Um, stop playing everything so safely. And then, um, really getting more skill positions earlier. I really think you can just take three late quarterbacks in this and be fine. And just get those those points filled from a week-to-week -week basis. Um, kind of hard to explain that right now. But um, as the draft kind of unfolds, I'm going to talk through everything. And, um, yeah. Yeah. And as always, I have the coin if we need to do a heads or tails on the player, because you know that's science-based. I also have a dice for between six players. Just kidding. But that is on the desk. And yeah, here we go. I do want to look up, like, maybe if someone sees this video, they can comment where I can just play um, copyright music. Or, sorry, non-copyright music. I don't want to play copyright music. And, yeah. in the meantime I do like to show exposure stuff like that I've always liked when other people show their stuff so 
Uh, quarterback Drake May, been loving him at the price. Jaden Daniels, loving him at the price with the upside. Kyler Murray, loving him at the price with the upside. I mean, if they get Marvin Harrison Jr. and he's going behind Purdy and Herbert and Burrow and these guys who have no rushing upside and this man has good rushing upside. What's the Daniel Jones news? Resume stationary throwing. Good. Russell Wilson, decision coming in the next two weeks. I have too much Russell Wilson. I'm going to stop taking him. I feel like he's a starter, like at least for the Patriots, they don't take Jaden Daniels or the Raiders or no chance he's playing for the Broncos. I'm trying to think who else. I don't know, but I, I just think he has a starting job. Um, Levis, I need probably start hammering Levis more. I mean, Titans are not going to be going in the other direction, I don't believe, and he does have upside. I mean, his first game last season, if you remember, four, four, what, 28 passes, four touchdowns, so um, came out looking like a star and then sucked the rest of the season, so like he had half his touchdowns in his first start, so that's funny. Um, Derek Carr is a good, he's, he's paid too much, uh, he's set and rework a deal, he's going to be back on the Saints. Um, yeah, Bryce Young, actually, just knowing that he has a starting job and he goes in like the 18th round, that sounds great, Fields, whatever, trade. But yeah, I'm excited to read all this new news, um. Miles Sanders, just he's got the starting job. Love McLaughlin. I'm probably gonna cool on Roshan a little bit. Love the rookies. Like that I have Herbert a lot, but probably I don't know. I did hear an interesting, interesting point about the new Bears offensive coordinator and how um, just basically the, the, he doesn't throw to the running backs, and so this any kind of receiving work these guys are getting could come way down. Um, Charbonnet, I have cooled a lot. That was almost 30%. Robinson, good. Benacanda, I feel like he is the handcuff. Montgomery, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so, there, yeah, there's definitely guys I want more and less of. Bateman, like, all these guys that I know I have a lot of, I just want to kind of, like, simmer down a little bit. Um, no massive stands yet that I want to take. Um but yeah, all good, all good. We're we're feeling this thing out. We still have 75 drafts to get everything nice and balanced the way we want it to look. Um, I love seeing Andrews and Kittle up here. I mean, elite tight end. Pat Curran's wrote about it. It's um, very necessary when they have those massive spike weeks and the the playoff run um, when you need them to. So, I mean, Kittle last year was a monster, and I think the year before, Crane had him when he won Best Ball Mania 3. So, yeah, we're uh, looking all right here. It, it is a weird, the end of the draft with tight end, and this is a big part of drafting these teams, is, is knowing what um, what is left for you at the end of these drafts. And right now, from my perspective, it's only rookie wide receivers. That's all you should be taking. This class is so deep with the rookies that, it's it's almost between taking a rookie wide receiver or taking Brevin Jordan or Gerald Everett or something like this. Um, I just think the upside of taking a Javon Baker or a McMillan or a Cowing even, um, Jamari Thrash and Jermaine Burton, all these dudes is just like if you hit that dude correctly then it it you never needed Gerald Everett for the 400 yards and three touchdowns he's going to get next season. Um, so, like I said, we're we're competing. I guess a lot of people for only ten bucks for two hundred thousand dollars. So I, you know, only one person is going to win that. All right, let's see what we got in here here. Blab. He's been a lot of them. I don't know. A couple badges, a couple non. I like not getting the non badges, and they do some stuff, crazy stuff. So, let's see what happens here. Got my little cold brew. 
with a little low-fat milk in it, and I'm feeling dialed. Get one draft in before we head off to work for the day. And if you are seeing this somehow today, before I get back on stream later, it is 10.07 a.m. Pacific Standard Time currently, and I'll be back. Let's see, get off work, go to the gym. I'll be back probably around 5.30 um, for the later stream, and I'm going to try and do like four or five drafts on stream in a row. So, here we go. Eighth, eighth pick. Okay, let's think through this here. So, I don't have much Bijan. Um, nothing against him. I just don't know. Uh, I like Puka a lot. I mean, he was... I mean, that's insane. Four, almost 1,500 yards, six touchdowns. And these guys are already hammering wide receiver. After Brees Hall, it's a massive teardrop for me. Um... I'm almost AJ Brown over. Oh, there goes Puka. Oh my God, I get Brees or Jamar Chase. This is amazing. What happened to get me that? Puka just going there. Oh my God, I got Brees. Let's go. Yeah, this that's this is incredible. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Um, this is really exciting. I'm also a Jets fan. I have my up. Uh, uh, shit. Well, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I think we have to throw the jersey on. Still have the Breeze Hall jersey on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on down, Breeze Hall. Come on down. All right. A little light on, huh? I think people like the little the lights on the face these days. I'm feeling pumped. Let's go, dude. Breeze Hall. Tank Dell, Nico? Whoa. Trying something different? I don't mind it. What is, yeah, that's the other thing with these drafts is people get so deep into them. Like, I have to do something different. <laughs> I don't g give me the option to take Kyron. I really don't want to. Good. Um, we're going to go DJ Moore. Am I? Yes. And, uh, I mean, I'm going to show you guys what I do. No one's watching these yet, so... I'm not worried about stream sniping or anything like that, but I like to get things ready. I know I have a lot of Roshan, so I'm going to cue Herbert instead. And we're going to make a bet on the Chicago. I, I am 100. I'm not 100. You can't be 100%. I'm 98% sure that DJ Moore is gone. And... Wait, what did I just say? All right, DJ Moore. No, Justin Fields is gone. Sorry, I'm getting... Hex popping up here. I need to mute my computer. Distracting. Um, Justin Fields is gone from the Bears. Caleb's coming in, so I'm I'm gonna. That's like one of my main things I want to do. I want to make a stand every time I take DJ Moore. I'm getting Caleb Williams. I mean, I want the stack. I want to get things right. If I'm wrong, so be it. Next year, but uh, this is this is how I like to play this stuff. Um, I also like you know if I get if I get Drake London or something, um, getting Justin Fields, things like that. So let's see here. The thing that, when I think through this, taking Caleb Williams at this price is right in the middle of the draft. And so what always happens is, if do I take Caleb Williams? And I'm, I know I'm banking on being a superstar, especially if he's my first quarterback taken here. Do I just take one more quarterback? Do I take two more? You know what I. It's always about the price that I'm paying on that player. So Caleb's a what? A, uh, let's see what pick is that far. So like 104. So like the end of the ninth round for my first quarterback. It's not like the most draft capital, but it's still decent, you know, to be in the top 10 rounds. So that's the thing. Or I make it easy on myself and I'm still going to take an elite quarterback in the before Caleb Williams, then once Caleb Williams comes, I know I'll be done at quarterback. So 
just thinking through things like that a little bit, um, really planning out my drafts. I basically have this whole board memorized at this point. So um, anyways, we'll see what's going on here. This, uh, I like to make it a little bigger. See more of the players, more of the board here. Okay, Pittman, Justin Jefferson, Ayuk, Pittman, Amonrod, John Taylor, Hurts, Tyreek, Marvin Harrison, Saquon, CeeDee Lamb, Josh Allen, Dig. That's a nice start. I like that for Matt right there. McCaffrey, Debo, Lave. I like that. Hard to go wrong from the one. Puka, Rashi, interesting. Jamar Chase, Devontae Adams, interesting. Um, I just love seeing Brees here, man. Just knowing I have that anchor running back is so crucial. Okay. Um, I have, like, almost no Mike Evans. I just don't. He was, like, a six-round pick last year. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going Laporta. I don't. I need a wide receiver for sure. I'm gonna go Waddle. Um, Mike Evans. I I think I've taken him one time. Um, great player, obviously. Just one year older, and how I like to think about it was 2022. He was. Oh God! What? So last year was six round pick in best ball. Throughout the whole year, basically. I think Godwin was going before him most of the time. And the year before that, he was... Where was he was, like, at the end of the second round. He was a second round pick the year before. And so, when players are just flip-flopping back and forth and back and forth, and it's based on this. Oh, he had 14 touchdowns? Let's take him in the second round. Oh, he got six? Let's take him in the sixth round. Oh, he got 13? Now let's put him back in the third round. I don't like that, you know? It's just too flippy-floppy for me. So, you know, maybe it's another down year with the touchdowns and we just get him later the following year and eventually just kind of falls off. So I'm just making a, a bet that, yeah, just not, not that into it. Um, I do like Higgins staying in Cincinnati. I feel like people wanted him to go other places, but I, he's been good in Cincinnati. And I just think, you know, what don't, if it's not broke, don't fix it kind of thing. So. There goes Evans. I would take him if he fell that far, just because I don't have much of him to balance out exposures, but not the biggest fan. I'm excited to take either one of these guys right here, so. I'm almost hoping he takes one, so it's just an easy pick for me. But it'll probably be Keenan over T. And Keenan Allen in the fourth round. We already saw how stupid that was last year. Dude was unbelievable. All right, let's see here. Could be looking at Tua. I like Burrow at his price. So this is where I'm like, okay, if we take Burrow or Tua then with Caleb, then we are Gucci, bro. We are super Gucci. Uh, another player I want more of is Adunze. Uh, listening to some kind of Korean content. I love Pat Korean. Um, but basically just him thinking through landing spots, neighbors to potentially the Giants. Um, oh, this is with on sh uh, ship chasing. Shout out to Overzet and Korean and all them. I mean, they're, they're legendary folk over there. They really give such good content. Um, 
compared to some others, at least like analytically. So, but yeah, thinking that Adunze makes it past that kind of like shitty team part of the the NFL real draft, where like the John oh, there he goes, the Giants are picking stuff like that, um, and he actually falls to a a good team that can use him um, properly. It already has like an established quarterback and stuff like that. That sounds pretty appealing to me. I have zero Rashad White, by the way. Um, and I remember when he was going at pick 23. So I'm going to keep letting him fall because I don't even know if he's really worth this price. Um, let's see here. Mahomes falling is always interesting. I don't know why I find myself picking Mahomes in the fifth when he's there. Um, but, yeah, let's see what all this new news is. Raiders will attempt to sign, re-sign Josh Jacobs, not expecting to use franchise tag. Yep. Derrick Henry won't be franchise tag. Yep. Okay. So just state in the obvious. I like how news like that will actually affect the market that we already should know. Expected to let. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Yep. Makes sense. Um, okay. Okay. I'm one of these two. Let Mahomes fall. Does this guy have Kelsey? He'd be so stoked. Nice he's Laporta. Um, I'm going to go make Bride. Because we already have uh, Brees Hall, so I don't need to force Kenneth Walker on here. Um, and yeah. I just think uh, I have enough Mahomes. And he's like... I don't know who to stack him with. I'm pretty sure MVS is gone. Justin Watson's still under contract. So sometimes take him. I take Noah Gray. But, um, uh, yeah, he, we, as we've seen, he can get the job done without scoring that many fantasy points. So I'm, I want to be, like, at, if, if he's gone the fifth round, because um, when he went, the, this is back to, like, the Mike Evans thing. When he was in the fifth round two years ago, he went nuclear. He went no Tyreek, oh my god, send him down. Go fifth round, and then Kelsey puts up 1,514 or something. And so he he went nuclear, and um, that was the Juju year. And so that year, when he was going in the fifth, uh, won people championship. So uh, I don't want to be, like, ignorant to the fact that he's an amazing quarterback going in the fifth round. Alrighty, um, is this my Burrow pick? Could be. I don't, oh, I like Hopkins. Yeah, Hopkins is such a good pick. I have a lot of Hopkins. So this guy got his Stroud, oh cool. So this guy got his Stroud, Collins, Dell, Neighbors, Hopkins, cool. Nice, good for him. Pickens, I don't know. Godwin. Cody has two running backs. Maybe he... Is this guy auto-drafting? Oh, he's fucking auto-drafting. Oh my god, he's not. I'm definitely going Kenneth Walker. Wow. That's awesome. Um, I would definitely like to have more wide receivers at this point, but... Um, Kenneth Walker is, I'm high on Kenneth Walker for sure. And he just fell. So that's, that's beautiful right there. I love this team already. There goes Burrow. That's fine. Like I said, main focus is getting these skill positions because they run out quick. Whereas there are starting quarterbacks at the end of the draft. <laughs> uh, here, let me look into uh, non copyright music. Let's, let's put this out in the... Yep. 
This is the one that uh, came up for me, so let's play this. Some quiet here. Turn this down a little bit. A little deep house. Uh, they're only three minutes each. Need like a playlist. I wonder if they're all playing. Gonna play after. I don't know how the SoundCloud works all the way. Um, volume on SoundCloud? Anyone? God. Oh my god, it's a waste of fucking volume. Okay, no volume control on SoundCloud, so that's cool. Uh, let's go back here. Hey, YouTube, something I know how to use. Look at that volume control, SoundCloud. Figure it out. person finds this stream somehow but it's good I mean it's good information I hope I hope someone finds it someday because or at least it'll be fun to look back on and be like yeah this is the $200,000 draft and I did it live okay um where are we at with this <sighs> there's no wide receivers left so it's just a running back or a tight end decision here um Who's the tight end for the Bears? Is Komet. I actually kind of like Komet. We've got another running back here. There's only one I want. And it's him. Okay. We're going to go Pollard. Um, oh, wait. Murray. Kyler Murray with 10 picks. Always got to push it. I would take Pollard just uh, based on a talent level compared to these guys. Najee's the other one I kind of go with. Um, I feel like Pollard's better. And Pollard also had a broken leg coming into last year. And so if that's just, you know, if he's just better, more uh, just healthier coming into this year, then uh, things could look a lot different if he gets another opportunity. So like I said, $10 buy-in, $200,000 up top. We need the upside. And if Pollard's back to his normal self. Um, even if he's in a 1B situation like he was back when Zeke was in Dallas, he still was so good. So uh, we will cue Kyler, get him ready. And we will keep rolling with the punches here. Um, if not, I'm going to end up taking another running back. But yes, if anyone's uh, wondering, I am super scared about my wide receivers at this point. Actually, it might be a Troy Franklin pick if Kyler's gone. Something like this. Something like this. Okay, there goes Kyler. He doesn't know one to stack him with. Just take him naked. That's fine. Honestly, I do that. So, um, Deontay, Troy Franklin, something like that. watching my stream. Alright, I'll take Deontay. No no shame in that for sure. super late but let's get Caleb here more importantly I kind of want to set like that up more so than I want to uh, um, hopefully we get a bolt though um, if anyone watches this and they say the music's too loud 
Let me know. I'll turn it down just a little bit more just in case. Let me listen to it again on uh, through the live stream one second. Sounds kind of loud. Um, I'm getting a little worried about that. I think just so it's not annoying. Wait, what? How low can we go here? Like it's almost not changing the actual. Whoa, 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 whoa. People are taking that I'm queued up here. Okay. So let's get fucking Herbert, of course. Like 15 picks past ADP. How's this sound now? Here we go. How's this sound now? Uh, we're taking Caleb. Not even gonna think twice about it. This guy, take whoever you want. You're not taking Caleb Williams. I mean, you shouldn't at least. <clears throat> there you go. Perfect. Got Caleb. This is good. Really strong running backs. Um, the way I structure this too is, you know. Uh, these two are basically filling in every week. Boom. Huge ceiling. Good floor. And then Pollard could just be a smash that you needed to take in that round. Jonathan Brooks would have been another great pick to pair up here. But this is basically just like rookies for me after this. Just trying to try to get that right. Um, but hopefully we can get a wide receiver here uh, or commit. Don't have to force commit though. Probably more important to get the wide receiver. But if I looked down and I saw DJ Moore, Waddle, Higgins, Deontay Johnson, Marquise Brown, I wouldn't think it's the best wide receiver room, but I definitely don't think it's the worst. Um, just really hope we get the opportunity to take Marquise Brown. It's crazy how quiet the music is in my headphones, but if I listen to the live stream, I guess it is still pretty quiet. How far back is this stream? It's crazy how quiet the music is. In okay, my no, it's it's quiet. It's quiet. Okay, we're taking Marquise Brown. And we will see if Komet somehow falls. He might. People don't need tight ends all the time and don't need to take unstacked kind of random players on their teams. Unless you believe Justin Fields is the quarterback and then you're taking Komet. So, no big deal. Um, so, th that's good wide receiver room right there. I think... Um, Man, it'd be so bold to just take two rookie quarterbacks. Uh, probably not smart, though. I don't know. We, we always consider, consider any possibility.
Let's take a look at the board here. See any, if we see any other uh, cool teams that we like. So he's got really strong wide receivers. This guy went pretty heavy. Tyreek, Harrison, Flowers, McLaurin, Godwin. You know, honestly, we are not... It's when I look at this... And this is just as far as this room goes... I mean, this guy... I can't believe this guy went Diggs, CeeDee Lamb, and then just said, Fuck it. <laughs> Down to lock it. Are you kidding me? After such a good start... I mean, I love Andrews. I hate Rashad White. I hate... I mean, just the, the context around the picks, like... Oh my god, to take Rashad White instead of McLaurin or Ridley or Kirk or Hopkins. Just something that... Oh god, man. We didn't... You didn't need it. Um, okay, let's see here. Mm, this is such a weird spot on the board that I think I'm just going to stick with my cue at this point. Jerry Judy is... He's fucking Jerry Judy. That's what he is. He stacks. Uh, we were trying to get the Komet, obviously, but I mean Dallas. Now there goes Komet. Okay. Um, oh yeah, Herbert. Herbert's down there. You can probably go Herbert for the stack. I mean Herbert for the stack. Herbert for the stack. Are we even going to catch passes like we talked about this new offense? Or am I just making a consolidated bet on the Bears? I'm um, just being good this year. Drake May is so interesting. Okay. Mm. I don't know how much I care about taking Cleo Herbert versus just taking the upside of a rookie considering I do Brees Hall, Kenneth Walker, and Pollard. It's like... I think it's just a smart thing to do is just see if what if one of these guys is an absolute smash. Um, so we're gonna take Benson. I mean, obviously we can keep him Q just in case. <clears throat> and Bucky Irving, I just want to get my exposure up to. Sean Siegel talked about his how good he graded on his elusive rating and. Just a lot of stuff that was kind of eye-opening. I looked at him, I just saw how small he was, and I was like, eh, uh, I don't know. Um, but Sean Siegel is, is law, so we we will keep going with uh, the dudes who are better than me. Xavier Worthy is a fun little rookie selection. No, I mean, Conky. What are we doing? I like just being, the fact that we have people to pick right now is, is cool. Because this, this is so gross, just looking at it. Oh, that goes worthy. Okay. No worries. Um, why is he falling? Why? Why are you falling? I, I just want to get my exposures right. I have so much Cleo Herbert. Okay. Um, I'm having new thoughts of... I did hear someone mention Marquise Brown potentially to the Panthers. And once again, I'm trying to be bold. I'm trying to guess this stuff right. And I do know that Bryce Young is starting next year. And he goes at pick 200. So just another free quarterback. is going to be starting all year. And he can't be as bad as last year. Um, so there you go. That's that's the math equation in itself right there. Um, I will take May if he falls back to me. Rogers also interesting with Brees, but I don't know. I'm a Jets fan, and I know what's good for me. Basically, that's what I'm saying with that. Okay. 
Um, this is going to end up being a three quarterback. Two, two tight end. Yeah, I think two tight end. I can call McBride elite. I'm banking on him being elite considering I spent a fifth round pick on him. I don't know. Let's just see what keeps happening here. But basically, the end of the draft is just going to be wide receiver, wide receiver, wide receiver, wide receiver. I just saw some crazy names. I didn't even realize how far I scrolled. Okay. There goes May. Good pick. I don't want Rodgers. I. I mean, if he's there, just staring me in the face. Cleo Herbert, come on down. There he goes, finally. Thank you. Thank you, Dancing Dolphins. Check your team out. Purdy, May, McCaffrey, Spears, Warren, Hubbard, Herbert, Debo, Alave, Adunze, Reed, Mike Williams, Kittle. So he's got a nice little San Francisco. I like the Kittle, Debo, McCaffrey, Purdy. Good job. San Francisco, very easy stack to get this year. I have a bunch of teams that ended up just being San Francisco stacks. Um, but... Anyways, let's, let's look at my team, the more important team here. Caleb Williams, Brees Hall, Kenneth Walker, Pollard, Benson, Irving, wide receivers, DJ Moore, Waddle, Higgins, Deontay Johnson, Marquise Brown, tight end, Trey McBride. Beautiful. Okay, let's focus up here. What do we need? I do you like Wandale? Um, stacking with Daniel Jones. Rodgers is past ADP, but you're gonna have to you have to twist my arm. Taking the last running back we need, and now we're done at running back. Audric estimate, come on down. So we have upside with the rookies, and then we got our stable guys right here, and upside with Pollard uh, based on his price that we got him at. So we'll leave that at that. I like that a lot. Yeah, I, do, I think I need more than eight wide receivers on this team. I think nine would be appropriate. Um, this also might have been too many running backs. This is this is a lot um, for what we spent on it. So I definitely understand that. Um, let's just see what happens here. Six picks. If Rodgers is there, I will take him. And then I think we'll be done with Caleb Williams and Rodgers. down king come on there we go all right there we go let's go uh, i feel good about that no, i'm just getting him after adp stack with breeze is the check down man aaron jones obviously in green bay he's doing big things with rogers so good 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 uh, i'm gonna leave bryce young in there just in case i still think the value of taking a starting quarterback for the entire season uh pick 197 is still really valuable but um, from here on out, I don't really see wanting anyone else, and if we don't get them, no big deal. Um, but I do want to start looking at some of these rookies, and this is where I'm going to just pull up my exposures so I can keep them on hand here. Okay. So let's look at Malachi. Only have two of him, so that's good to know. Whereas Devontae Walker, I have a lot of him. I don't even know how I got to 95 between $3 drafts and $10 drafts. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, no, it does. I have 15 in the... <laughs> five. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't mathing properly there. Three does go into 15. Um, okay, and so... Forget. Okay. Xavier DK Metcalf Leggett. Got four of him. So let's let's look at these um, guys I don't have much of. Polk. 
I haven't really heard anything about this guy. Got three of them. I just don't like his name. I don't like Polk. Weird. Conklin is under contract, correct? New York Jets, when did he sign this? What the? Get out of here, I disagree. Ay, 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 so he's got a cap hit, it could cut in, blah, blah, it's last year. Shit. Right, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. He's an older guy. That's why people don't like him. He's four year, um, four year senior. Usually, you want a three year player getting into the draft. So he's a little older. How old does Xavier like get? Twenty three. Okay. So yeah, old for coming into the league. I think he turns twenty four before the season starts. You didn't even have his birthday on here. What, 227? Jesus, 6'3". Fuck. Dude's a savage. Look at that ball control. Come on down, bud. There goes Corley. Okay, no big deal. Let's go Conklin. Trevor Brad Conklin can get me through a season. I, I believe that wholeheartedly. Malik Washington, I have zero of him, and I see people taking him, and he's been steaming up, and I don't know why. Yoshivas! <laughs> right, let's take shitty Conklin and then move on. done at tight end so it's basically just wide receivers um, so you got 17 18 19 20 yes I count with my fingers like a child
I love this running back room so much. Wide receivers are going to need help. That's all right. We're going to get them help. We're going to get you the help you need, kid. We're going to get you the help you need. Back to the board here. Let's pull it down. We already know we're trying to do. Demarcus Robinson has been sneaking up ever since he got re-signed. That's a good pick. I kind of like that guy. You have a Stafford team. Sorry, I'm like sure I'm on the clock. Yes, he does. Okay. Cool. Burton coming up too. That's good because I have a shitload of him. So this guy must know something I don't. I'm just taking him because Karain did. 13 shares of Jermaine Burton. I'm. He's got Burrow Fields. He doesn't need Bryce Young. I'm gonna take Bryce Young. Give me Bryce Young. Perfect. And we're gonna say that Bryce Young receives Leggett and Marquise Brown. So we have a perfect stack when we are the perfect drafters. 18, 19, 20. Three wide receivers, all rookies coming straight at you. The only thing I would consider is Yoshivas. Yoshivas. Um. As soon as Tyler Boyd gets cut, this guy's going to skyrocket. Charlie Jones is going to skyrocket. So it's like, but when is he going to cut? Is he even going to get cut before this tournament closes? So that's always the game he plays. You don't know. You just don't know. But, um, yeah. Um, I think we're going to call it there for the stream. You guys can see how this is going to end. It's going to be three random rookie wide receivers based on who looks the coolest in their Google Images picture. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. As uh, these last couple picks come in, I'm going to go get ready for work. And uh, thanks so much for joining um, and seeing this. And uh, please like, subscribe. I'm going to be streaming the rest of the drafts for the big board tournament. And uh, I will be back on today in at 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, uh, the West Coast. So thank you very much. God, let's do the last pick. Is it Yoshivas? Why not? Give me Yoshivas. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Peace.